some more time. You know, sending him stuff to the other people shop out the door. And he goes, and he's telling me I'm in. And I don't know if he's ready to I never went to the door. You know, he's done that. He's just sitting there holding his neck. Yeah, it's a very good skill set. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Well, no one cheats it. Yeah, I can say if you know, you know that hard to do. Is it? Okay. Is it? Okay. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is That's why he's underneath us, right? That's cool. It's the lighting down there. Yeah. Let's just do that. He's cut off again. Yeah. But it's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. I'm impressed. So it is a boring idea. We want to make sure that whatever whatever budget you're spending in, you are getting what is called the Sennheiser sound. We do have a reputation for that Sennheiser sound. Um, and it is as clear as it could possibly be. Um, and with as little background noise as possible, we have cell generated noise to the microphone. But that's the whole point. So, yeah, okay, if you're spending, what, the MKH 8070, the long gun we've got is roughly 1500 quid, I would say. Yeah. Uh, and obviously the MKU 600 is 200, 300 quid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but if you are someone that's starting off, the MK600 is shit hot. If you are the BBC or if you are a filmmaker, if you're James Cameron and his sound crew, yeah, then you're going to go for something a little bit more. Um, you, pay, you pay for what you get at the end of the day. Okay, so that's some of them. Let me, let me go on to the portfolio because I want to get on to something else which is a little bit more interesting. Um, here is the 360, so it's sound above, below, side, back, everything. Uh, this is a iOS only 
product because if we work with Apogee, Apogee is a manufacturer of audio interfaces and they only make audio interfaces for Apple. Uh, so it's lightning only and no, you can't get an uh, adapter to go to USB-C yet. So if Apple changed this year, we're screwed. I hope they don't change to USB-C, they have on the iPad. That could be interesting. Anyway, um, and the idea about this is it's binaural. So there's two microphones on the outside. It's a normal set of headphones, you can use them as a normal set of headphones. Um, but the microphones on the outside are doing the recording, and what it does is it understands what's called HRTF coding. And HRTF coding is what your brain does with your ears. So for example, your brain automatically knows that a sound is coming from the rear because your pinna, the flaps of skin on the side of your head, filter out certain frequencies. And your brain knows when those frequencies aren't present, the sound's behind you. It also knows the sound is coming from that direction because there's a delay from hitting this year to hitting this year. So it can, it can figure out using delays and frequency uh, filtering exactly where the sound is coming from. And that's exactly what these do. They understand that and they do the same thing. So I did a recording back in September last year. It was my daughter's first uh, concert at kindergarten. And obviously my mother and father lived in Venice. Uh, and for them to come over to Hanover just for a uh, kindergarten concert, it's a bit of a wallop because they got to fly down to Heathrow and then fly across to, to Hanover, so a bit of a pain in the arse. So I stuck this on my daughter. So I'm doing a recording now. Da, 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 da. Stop. Let's stop, John. There you go. Synchronize it. So I'll just do the quick sync. Well, this is not the easiest part. There we go. Join. It uses Wi Fi for syncing its audio so it's quick. There we go. Okay. Two settings. Obviously, because we're in a busy thing here, I need to set up my. Anyway, I would need to set up the, the Wi Fi and do the same. Oh dear, I have to synchronize it. It wants me to synchronize it, my now it's getting stroppy. It's like those where cameras, we have an app that syncs to our cameras, you can control the camera and the video, the same kind of sync. So yeah, what I, what I could do is obviously turn the camera around, use the front facing camera, mm -hmm. do the recording, but it's, it's demanding. But you do it through that app? Yeah. Oh. It's, demand, it's demanding right now that I sync the audio. The it wants to sync the audio. The quality of... It also has a cable that can convert it to iPhone use as well. You can plug it directly to your iPhone if you want to. Uh, I'll discuss that with you. A little bit as well. But, you know, this allows me now... <laughs> It's admittedly, I wish you'd have a shorter cable. I do have a shorter cable. I do have a shorter cable. What's that one called? Is that a short memory? This is an MKE 600. So, MKE 400 is the single one, 440 is the stereo one, and this is 600. They're all part of the same family. They're sort of the audio for video microphones. Um, and yeah, they're pretty good at what they do. So, um, what was <laughs> so the alphabet. That's <laughs> fascinating, that is. <laughs> did, did you hear all of that? Yeah? Oh god, oh yeah. <laughs> At least you didn't swear, so. I'd love it if it came in. Oh, no. But can you just plug it into the camera itself? Yes, you can get a cable. Oh, there is an adapter cable that goes into. Yeah, that's cool. So it's just for free. Yep. It's got two outputs. It's making a slightly more professional input into the camera. Better, better quality. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 